Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Gemini. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're your message at that time. Gemini, I'm in a different location temporarily. We're um, visiting my daughter's father for the holidays. So I'm going to be recording a few videos here this week in the blue room. Uh, I've done your reading today with my big triple combined decks in one stack. So you're going to see a blend of all three in your spread today. Um, so Gemini, I haven't quite done a reading like this one. It's an interesting energy coming in for you. We're starting here with this rhinoceros card, which has made an appearance since I've introduced this, this deck on the channel. It seems like this card keeps coming out a lot. It says moderation. I've been seeing it as the, um, a fierce desire or it came out in one reading as desire. It came out in another reading as anger. It's coming out for you today as actually an incredibly stabilized fierceness, if that makes sense. It's like something has occurred, especially with this messenger of fire coming out next to it, all this fiery energy. Something has occurred that, uh, um, you know, would or could normally push you into a really confrontational action a confrontational energy but you're you're really harnessing all this fire and staying put you're you're keeping it localized keeping it it's not neutral but you're keeping it contained this rhinoceros is an energy that you know you could plow through this situation you could you could be doing a lot of things Gemini, but I feel like you're choosing to, you're choosing non-action essentially. And that's where the moderation is coming in because I feel like there's a big fire, a big action energy wanting to move. You're wanting to confront. I feel like you're, you're wanting to communicate with this messenger of fire but I feel like you are making the decision to wait for communication is how it's coming through with the moderation card. This messenger of fire is actually uh, uh, waiting, waiting for a message, having your back turned on, you know, very much still plugged into, very much still aware and wanting, desiring communication. I feel like you're pretty fired up about it. It's like something has really upset you angered you but you're not really showing it i mean somebody who's very perceptive would see that you are upset i think the other person knows you're upset but it doesn't show on the surface i think it's just between the two of you between the two of you something went down nobody else is witnessing or privy to it though it's contained and you're waiting you're waiting for their action or their word um, with the justice card coming next, it's talking about an injustice. Absolutely waiting for this correction in the injustice to be made by them you, or by the universe, perhaps. Because the call card comes out at the end here, which today I'm seeing as like a, a, a doubling up of the justice energy or um, a higher a higher order justice coming into play here. It's like... Gemini, I feel like you're very much aware that whatever went down between you and somebody, that there's a higher order that's going to at some point come in and correct the imbalance or the injustice. And so although you're upset or you're unhappy, you, you know that it's not your place to correct it. And maybe, maybe you really have no ability to correct the imbalance or the injustice. But I feel like it's helping you to stay in that moderation, that moderate. It's kind of like a temperance energy, a really balanced energy because, because of these energies here. It's like, you know, it's, you know, it's kind of like a, a really karmic situation where you know that the laws of karma or the laws of the universe are going to come in and correct the situation for you. And so you're kind of, although you're fired up, you're sitting back and watching and waiting. And what came out in between these two, the double justice, as I'm seeing it, two justice cards, um, is this 
fascinating card, Meerkat, with the moon. So the moon briefly is just talking about whatever, whatever happened here. I feel like just as I was saying about how it's just between the two of you, the only, you're the only two who are privy to what went down. I feel like it's not even spoken between you in any way. There's just an, an understanding or an intuitive knowing on your part that something wasn't right or something unjust has occurred. And there, I feel like there has been no conversation or confrontation or validation of your belief. You're relying absolutely fully on intuition and hunch. You know that you were wronged in some way or that a situation is imbalanced. Um, so this card here, this is a fascinating card. It says responsibility. It has these, this group of meerkats here who are, they have the responsibility or they, or their gift, perhaps it is their duty in life to paint the stripes on the animals. So the animals appear to them like a blank slate and these guys paint the patterns on them. The story that comes with this in the book, this is one that I had to look up. I don't do that very often, but I'm really fascinated with this, this imagery. It's talking about that the animals would, would approach the meerkat with an offering in exchange for receiving their colors, right? So there, it's talking all about reciprocity to me, a balanced exchange. But there's in the story, it talks about, I think it's a hyena who tries to trick the meerkat by offering uh, a hollow offer. It's, it's one, it's kind of a trick, right? They end up keeping the offering for themselves yet expecting to receive anyway. So that's the energy here. There's something about an exchange that went wrong, uh, an equality, an inequality. It feels to me like, especially because it's this meerkat energy, it's, a little, it's almost like Gemini, that you have some sort of unique gift, you're a healer, you have something unique to offer, something that only specifically you, it's only you that this one could get this offering from, whatever it is, if it's a healing, if it's a relationship, you are the one, you're the unique one that can offer what it is that they're seeking. So you are highly sought after, at least by whoever this is that has wronged you, but it's, it, it's very much like you came through on your side of the bargain. You were very giving and open and obviously, clearly, it was not reciprocated. But that it seems like that was something that wasn't discovered until kind of farther down the path or, or farther into the merging or the relationship. It became apparent to you that what they were offering in return was hollow or that they were offering it, but they were never really following through on it. It's a hollow offer. So it's completely imbalanced. And like I was saying with this moon card, it's something that somehow isn't apparent. It's something that over time it becomes apparent or your intuition begins to nag at you about it, about that there's something hollow in their side of the story or in their side of the bargain however this plays out for you. I mean, it kind of, the easiest example to talk about keeps coming up because the energy is very much a match to this kind of story is, you know, a situation say where a parent is uh, slowly kind of backing out of their responsibility, you know, both parents presuming to at the beginning of the story to be equal contributing partners. And at one point, one begins to back out, begins to not show up as much, begins to not contribute as much energetically, financially, just an example, right? So at some point it becomes apparent that something is off and it feels like a really significant, it's a big deal because it's bracketed by justice and the call card. And I feel like you're aware of that, Gemini. And that's why, although you, you may be enraged by this situation, at the same time, you know that there's divine order at play here. Perhaps even a divine order at play in 
orchestrating this imbalance in the first place. It's like you're wise enough to know that there's, there is benefit for all involved from an, an inequality. At some point it will get corrected and there's benefit on all sides in that process. So you're coming out here with this gorgeous peace card, which is, is very much this one here. You feel very, obviously very centered, very spiritual, very understanding of everything I'm talking about, like a higher level awareness of energetics, of karmic situations, of contracts, of divine order, the laws of the universe. And so it's like you're, you're relying, you're leaning into that knowing in order to stay balanced and at peace. It's like, of course, as this first comes into your awareness, there is a flaring up of energy, but it's like you quickly harness it and tame it down. You're very masterful. You're coming through as very masterful, Gemini. You feel very detached, actually. Like I said, it's because you have this, this knowing, this higher, higher awareness that it will all be corrected. And so that's what you're really plugging into that in order to bring yourself peace. So, but what's fascinating here is um, it kind of peeks into their side of the story a little bit here with, with this Raven card. This is a pretty intense card. It's like the truth. It says news, but the Raven or the crow to me talks about truth and justice, law, order, higher, higher order, divine law true reality and it's like they know that this the truth is unavoidable it has them in their grip right there there is no avoiding it. at some point truth will override the situation but what they're in right now what i'm seeing here with these three cards like a little bit of a denial of the situation or self-denial or unwilling to face themselves or face the situation and get the seven of fire with the seven of earth and this gorgeous will card in the center which is there's so much going on here so much going on here okay let's unpack some of it first of all let's focus on this will card this will they're, they're really, I feel like, like I said, they're really trying to block out their awareness of this situation. Why is my camera blinking? What does that mean? I hope this is... All right, so there's going to be a really strange little glitch in your video there, and then probably all the lighting and everything is slightly shifted. It will be maybe a little jarring for you. But interesting though, because I believe everything happens for a reason. And so we were talking about your person and how they are in denial about the situation. They're trying to either will it away or um, not allow it to rise up in their consciousness with this, them, their hand in front of their face here. I see them trying not to, it's like they're blocking their awareness of it. But just as you are aware that this is, um, this is like a contract between them and the universe. In fact, their their whole dress is made of the cosmos. Like the, the drapes are parting and their dress is the cosmos. With this moon echoing around them, it's like it's orbiting around them in a way. It's this energy. This energy that you were tapping into, having this intuitive nudge or... Um, unconfirmed knowing that something is going on here it's like that is just bouncing around all around them they're surrounded by it it's it's so embedded within them that they can block out the exterior circumstances but it's like permeating their being okay so that and that is coming out between these two cards which i'm seeing as the seven of earth talks about you know trying to set new creation into motion, trying to plant new seeds, setting new intentions. Um, and then the seven of fire is talking about conflict, about inner conflict. It's, it's also talking about this energy here. This truth is kind of pulling them. It's like no matter which way they, they try to direct their energy, they're trying to focus on some new thing. They're being pulled with this inner conflict of all of this, like the cosmos bouncing around in their consciousness, not 
not losing the universe is not letting them go and so that's creating this inner turmoil and it's pulling them towards this this truth or the the inevitable correction of the injustice it's all pointed in this direction it's it is going to meet it is coming together right but like i said they're they're not facing it and how i was tying in the whole thing with the camera glitching and and all that shift is like what i'm seeing is that there is especially with this goat card coming next it's like they can deny it or try to pretend or turn their back on it as much as they want turning their back on it back is towards this go it's like the universe like i said is not going to let them go i feel like things are gonna strange occurrences will continue to to surround them like the camera glitching it's almost like glitches in the matrix are going to surround them so it's all within them the inner conflict the inner awareness that they're trying to deny but it feels to me with this goat card that it's also starting to really echo back mirror back at them in their outer environment and it's it's becoming there's nowhere to escape it's like they they must face this because like i said it's bigger than even just the two of you it has to do with them and and their connection to their higher aspects or the connection to their you know this is the wheel of fortune coming out at the end here it's like it's pretty much a responsibility this goat says reliability but okay get focused here the wheel of fortune coming out with this goat strange combination of imagery is just talking to me about this massive karmic debt i guess you could say it's kind of like it's time to it's it's time for them to settle this imbalance to correct this imbalance the universe is correcting it for them for you on behalf of all with the wheel of fortune you know all these three cards are really powerful cards talking about like the universe stepping in and creating a change it feels to me like this you know they've got their back turned if they turn one way they're facing this crow raven higher justice higher order energy and behind them is this goat and wheel of fortune it's like they're surrounded on all sides by this energy i feel like this wheel of fortune is is pressing into them and is having this impact like this goat here okay so this goat it's this landscape there's a house here and there's trees and the goat is actually this massive land formation or the you know the mountain or the cliff face behind their home is turning into this goat which is all about responsibility and being reliable and being dutiful that is be, it's it's becoming an overpowering energy that is is taking over their entire their entire inner landscape and also transforming their outer landscape like i said with this this glitchy matrix kind of energy where it's embedded in everything it's embedded in all things now it's like everywhere they look it reminds them of the situation they're being called to order is that a is that a proper phrase there it's just what i heard so i'm repeating it it's like very much a call to justice a call to correct correct the imbalance it's it feels like it's kind of being forced upon them because it's like it's time it's time to correct this there's nowhere left to go they're kind of i'm seeing this energy as like they're almost being backed into a corner by the universe being forced to face this it's like the they're it's almost like it's gotten to the crunch point where their free will is now being overtaken by divine will and divine order it's like you can only go so far out of balance before something comes in to correct it something like that and i feel like Gemini, you're aware of all that at the beginning here, and that's why you're just kind of sitting back and allowing it to unfold, right? I don't think that they're privy to anything that, that to all of this that you're aware of, so it's going to really come as a surprise to them what's coming for them or the, the shift that's about to happen. I mean, it's all, it's beneficial for all. It's all for the higher good, but they're clearly resisting it. For what reason are we able to see that here? I guess because they they didn't 
they weren't reciprocating what you had to offer. What you were offering, what you gave to them was exceptionally refined, high caliber purity and they were not able to match that. And so it's really turning back on self. They're having to look at self and they're not. So in, it's, it's like they feel like they weren't able to meet you where you are and they're not willing to face that. It's like, they're almost not even, they're almost not even looking at, at what, what transpired between the two of you because they're not even willing to face their own stuff yet. That's what this, that's what this will with the hand right in the face there. It's like, it's like, they're really not even looking at what's like really they're in their internal environments. They're absolutely not acknowledging what's going on out here and that with you It's like it's so um, core and essential about self-worth and value that they're not even allowing themselves to know it. But it's coming, it's coming in, it's going to happen. So this is what I'm saying, how it's all, although it may be uncomfortable for them, it, it will be to their highest benefit. I mean, they're going to be taught about their own self-worth and value and then hopefully be able to, to meet you where you are. If not you, at least move forward in their in their life with integrity, if that makes sense. So I feel like, um, I feel like you are connected though. I do feel like there is going to be a playing out of this in your life as well. So I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, um, link is in the description box. And if not Gemini, just know that you are absolutely right. Your hunches are completely right. Your, your inaction is appropriate. You're, you're staying within your balance and peace is appropriate. And this is approaching. It's undeniable and unstoppable. So uh, I'll see you next time, Gemini. Thanks. Bye.